second anniversary, the Portland Trailblazers kick off their 50th season on Wednesday at home against the Denver Nuggets. And while fans are enjoying another season of professional basketball, the NBA in Portland, you know, it never would have even have been possible without the push from one particular man. Ken Body has more in this week's Where We Live. Here's McGinnis, Lucas comes out, McGinnis for the tie, it's off, and he's there. An NBA championship in 1977. Let Porter get the shot off. Drexler fires a three and hits it. Two trips to the NBA Finals in the early 90s. None of it happens without Harry Glickman. That's one of the worst no calls you're going to see. A Lincoln High School and University of Oregon graduate, a visionary who loves Rip City to this day. You know, I still enjoy seeing that ball go through the hoop. <laughs> Number one job is to get a scout and to get ready for the collegiate draft. Harry Glickman brought big-time basketball to Portland. So I'm very proud of that. Yeah, it's been a good team and a good franchise. Uh, one of the best in, in our league and one of the best in any league in, in any professional sport. Harry Glickman is a World War II veteran who in the 1950s started a company called Oregon Attractions, promoting everything from preseason NFL games to ice shows and boxing. But Glickman wanted a team of his own. So we went into hockey and got the Portland Buckaroos, who established what I think are one of the only two dynasties in the history of sports in Oregon. They were great. When voters passed the bond to build Veterans Memorial Coliseum in 1954, Glickman set his sights on pro basketball. It took years and $3.8 million. Glickman barely made the deadline with help from investors, including the late Larry Weinberg, who would eventually become the Blazers' majority owner. Oh, it's a long story. I'll make short. We got a team in the NBA. That was 1970. Numerous awards, including the Jewish Hall of Fame and the Oregon Sports Hall of Fame, adorned Glickman's Pearl District home. In September, Glickman received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the NBA Hall of Fame, accepted by his son Marshall and daughter Jennifer, since Harry couldn't travel to Springfield, Massachusetts. It's a wonderful thing, and I thank them all individually and collectively, profusely, for making it possible. Glickman called it his greatest honor, but his legacy is so much more. Well, I'd like to think I uh, had a reputation for integrity, and I think I did. Uh, I hope I was loyal uh, to the people around me that, uh, that worked with me. A fitting legacy for the man known as the father of Oregon sports. Ken Body, Coin Six News.